All right, listing agents, I have been talking to a ton of people. Obviously, listings have been sitting and people are coming up with the most wild ideas to try to sell a house. And at the end of the day, make sure you know your end buyer. Make sure that when you're coming up with new solutions, you know your end buyer. I'm talking to listing agents on a daily basis and they're trying to come up with new ways to sell their house. And when I talk to them, they're coming up with ideas that aren't relevant for their end buyer. If you're selling a $1.5 million house and you're looking at offering seller concessions, probably not the right thing to do, right? Your, your $1.5 million buyer is not going to care whether it's $10,000 off in se for seller concessions. And honestly, they're probably not gonna care if you do a $10,000 price reduction either. So that may not be the best bet for you. But if you're selling that $200,000 condo and everybody that lives in there are younger and this is a first time home buyer community, well then a, you know, a $5,000 seller concession to buy the rate down may go a very, very long way. So make sure you know where you're going and who your end buyer is and who the community is for or that house is for. Doing the research to figure out in that area or in that community what the past sales and how they were purchased is a big deal. You can find this information on the MLS, but is it mostly cash? Is it mostly FHA? Is it mostly conventional? Understanding these metrics are gonna allow you to come up with a much better marketing strategy and not only a marketing strategy from what to offer on the listing, but then also how to market it. Now I talk to listing agents all the time. So if you have any questions or you want to come up with different ideas, give me a call.